YouTube fam. This your boy Tony two times and we back with another episode of Hood Tales, man. Before I start, be sure to tap that like button. Definitely watch this video to the end ahead of the full story and all the details in the case for the day one fam. Y'all already know it's all love. Thanks for tuning back into another episode. If you're new to the channel and you're feeling the content, feel free to subscribe. Definitely hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. Let's get right into the story. We all know life can break some of the strongest people down. It's not easy out here to maintain every day, keep a roof over your head, or even to get simple things like food to eat. Some people can handle the stress of trying to maintain in this crazy world a little better than others. Most learn young. If you don't work, then you don't eat. It's simple. Whatever field you decide to go into, you got to get up every day to make a dollar. It's hard for some to understand the everyday grind that goes into what some would call success. Sleepless nights, early mornings, having to stay down until you come up. And if you are lucky enough to be one of the people that becomes financially situated to the point you can help others and put people on, some feel like you absolutely should. You might save a life or give someone a second chance who will have never got that. But you have to be careful who you extend your hand to. Some people are ungrateful and don't care about nothing if it can't benefit them. Some might not understand the sacrifices you made before even bringing them on board the ship. And sometimes you gotta stay away from certain individuals so you and yours can stay afloat. And on this episode of Hood Tales, we'll be taking it to Aurora, Colorado to discuss a case of a man who admitted to slaying his boss over a mistake in his paycheck. Back in 2022, 52-year-old Marvin Johnson had built a great life for himself by running a successful security company with his wife called American Eagle Protective Services, LLC. But let's rewind a little bit to see what it took to make the dream come true. Marvin always believed in hard work, and after graduating from Clay High School in Georgia in 1989, he decided to join the Army. After serving for years, he would be honorably discharged and go to further his education and criminal justice. This move made Marvin develop a love and passion for law enforcement. While continuing his studies, he landed a job with Homeland Security, then FEMA, eventually landing in Colorado, where he began working at the Social Security Administration office as a security officer. By this time, Marvin had met his wife and the couple were looking forward to their future hoping to one day run their own business. The opportunity would present itself when a failing security firm in the area abandoned its staff and contract. With some bread the couple saved up, they decided to fill their void in the area by launching their security firm, providing jobs for people who needed second chances in their region. The company started in 2013. Fast forward to 2022, going almost 10 years strong, it had become a success, but Marvin was still hands-on and him and his wife worked daily to keep the business good, getting up the contracts and making sure everything was in order. In fact, they were so busy, he told a family member one time he would love a day off so he could finally take his wife on the honeymoon she deserved. In October 2022, a 35-year-old man named Lloyd Love Jr. applied for a job at the company. Lloyd had a shaky past, multiple convictions, in and out of prison for the last 11 years, and allegedly dealt with drug addiction and mental illness, which included bipolar and schizophrenic disorder. At the time, Lloyd had just been released from jail for zapping out on his sister, throwing rocks at her, striking her, and vehicles in the area, landing her in the hospital. He was arrested and held on $25,000 bail. After a few months, he was released on his own reconnaissance. Not knowing too much about Lloyd's mental illness, Marvin and his wife, believing in second chances, gave him a job to be security at a Forever 21 store in a local strip mall. He couldn't carry a gun because he was a convicted felon, but it was a chance for Lloyd to get on his feet and get his life in order. After working a few shifts on October 20th, it was time for his first payday at the company. Only having worked a few days in the pay period, Lloyd was given a check for $165. Lloyd, happy for his new job, 
and to earn a paycheck, went to cash the check, but it was a problem. Marvin and his wife made a mistake and put Lloyd K. Love on the check instead of Lloyd C. Love for his middle initial. This made Lloyd super frustrated. His new girlfriend, who he had met a few weeks prior online, tried to calm him down. He told her he had mental illness, but didn't like taking his medication because it made him feel different. Lloyd called the job and spoke to Marvin's wife, Miss Patricia, and wish she apologized for the mix-up and agreed they would fix it and cut Lloyd a new check. But they first needed the old one to void it out. Lloyd, mad at this time, stated he ripped up the check out of frustration and wanted his money now. Trying to calm him down and come up with a solution, Miss Patricia told Lloyd when he came in for his shift, they would make it right. But he claimed he was done with the job and was on his way to the location and which he then hung up and called Marvin. Not long after, Lloyd arrived to the location. He started making a scene about the check. Everyone, including fellow co-workers, tried to calm him down, stating Miss Patricia and Marvin were good people who stood on their business and would make the mistake right. Marvin pulled up to the location to talk to Lloyd. About one minute into the conversation, shots went off. Local police was called beforehand about an employee who was making a scene. But then a minute after, they received another call of shots fired. When they arrived to the location at about 7 p.m., they located Mr. Marvin, who was suffering from gunshot wounds and unfortunately already gone on the scene. Workers from the company and his wife were able to state the shooter was an employee who had been working at the company for only three days. Not 30 minutes after the shooting, a vehicle was pulled over with Lloyd inside and his girlfriend driving. There was a 380 handgun in the front seat. As he was placed in cuffs, Police talked to the young lady. She claimed Lloyd called her, stating, come pick me up. I just did something stupid. When asked what, he stated, the less you know, the better. While in custody, Lloyd waived his rights. He admitted he snapped because he felt Mr. Marvin was talking to him crazy. He alleged he heard voices and also was paranoid. He claimed at first he was just going to use the weapon to take his own life, but changed his mind and went to the job. And after the conversation, shot Marvin. Lloyd was charged with first degree murder and handgun violations by a felon. After his arrest, his sister spoke out about being a victim of her brother before Mr. Marvin, claiming the state dropped the ball by releasing him. At the time, Lloyd had three open cases, as she explained what he did to her months prior and the stipulations of his release. Marvin's family was devastated, including his kids and Miss Patricia. They claimed Lloyd didn't give them a chance to make it right. He came with intentions to shoot. Lloyd, while in custody, refused to leave his cell and didn't attend his first court date to face Marvin's family. The case hasn't made his way to trial yet, but Lloyd admitted to everything, claiming all that day he was having episodes. Rest in peace to Marvin. I send my deepest prayers and condolences to his family. $165 is what this man lost his life over, trying to get someone a job and a second chance. I give people work and want their money, but mistakes happen. I worked at a few companies where my check wasn't right, money short, all kinds of situations. You go to HR and they fix the problem. Lloyd, who allegedly had mental illness, took enough time to go find a gun, come to the job, shoot multiple times, call his girl to pick him up. That sounds like somebody with some sense to me. Lloyd took the street code into the workplace. It's two different worlds. I get it. If somebody owes you money in the streets, some choose to go grab a blip. But when you have a W-2 and legit job, they had no choice but to make it right. You never even gave him a chance to cut another check. Now a man is gone and you are facing life in prison for $165, eight $20 bills, and a five. So remember, we got to succeed not to fail. So we won't be just another hood to... Man, crazy story. Rest in peace to Mr. Marvin. I send my prayers to his family. I ain't going to talk too much more about this one. Y'all definitely let me know what y'all think in the comments. I appreciate you if you made it to the end. Y'all already know it's all love, fam. This is another episode of Hood Tales. This your boy Tony two times. I'm out.